So, today we are going to go through the left arm now. We did the right arm and we did it over two videos. Today I'm hoping that the knowledge that you gleaned from those two videos is going to make this video shorter and therefore we can put both pieces into one video. And that's what we're about to attempt right now. Left bicep. So the left bicep is the one that curls on the this side as opposed to the right bicep which curls up this way. Now we know the difference. So let's move on. So I'm quickly gonna knock these up into shape. We can all the sizes from before on the previous video. Exactly the same, we're just gonna mirror it right across. So 170 around the bottom, 190 around the top. When you're measuring this, 170, 190, when you're measuring this, you obviously need, you obviously need to center it as well. I may not have mentioned that last time, but it is quite um, obvious. So half of your 190 is 95. So I've got 95 center there, which is fine. So I'll go to 190. And likewise around the bottom, 170, that's 85 would be the middle. Okay, template. Recap, I'm quickly gonna trim these down. So there's not much excess on this piece, but we've got this much excess on the outer. So if you're gonna to need to add any, because your bicep is bigger than the original, then you're gonna to need to leave a little bit more on here while you're trimming out. Right, I'm going to quickly trim these. Again, check out the previous videos on the trimming. By now, we should have that down to a fine arc. Again, I'm not being precious with this. I'm just really trying to get, get in there. Hack it down, basically, into the position I want. First trim pretty much down to size. We need to sand these edges. I'm gonna just take out some of this excess here that we don't need. Again, this is how we're starting. Let's see how much I can get out with the shears. There are limitations to this because of the, the curvature of this on the finished piece, if you're not careful. We're gonna trim that out later anyway. But if in doubt, leave it, use your Dremel. Pick it up with the Dremel. So we just want to sand these edges so that they're nice. But I'm just going to offer these two up and see how they look. That side I'm quite happy with. This side, we're going to do a little bit more work. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just tape it together. We're going to leave these taped up now because we, we want them taped for the next stage. So again, this is, this is much more self-explanatory. It goes right through. On the bottom meets at the top and likewise on this side right nothing really notable on this side on this bicep that we need to look at lines through nicely here and here and on the uh, outside lines through nicely here and here so pretty straightforward so i'm quickly going to dremel this one out that's about as much as I need to trim off at this stage. There's an indication of how much neater we managed to get that side than that side. We've still got the gaps at the top and the bottom, which are not a problem, but just in case you really wanted to go with this look. Left bicep, done, done. Left forearm. Let's crack on with this. Exactly the same principle as the right forearm. We've got this detail here with the swoop. That is still present. We're gonna deal with it exactly the same way. 
everything else exactly the same as the right forearm. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gripping the whole plastic like this so that it's quite rigid. Can offer that up to see how it is again if there are any gaps anywhere you know if you've got a gap here and, the, and it's touching there and you can trim retrim as we did with the bicep same all the same principle works for now i'm quite happy with that you can maybe sand it down a little bit more so i'll uh, give it a quick sand nice line it through top and bottom i mean it's it's there for you no worries, it's all there, it's just done. You'll remember from earlier that this was 130 and 170. And I can tell you that when we've trimmed this out, there's no, there's no real excess on this. All we want to do is remove this lip from the forming. And then the other side, so we've got 130 to 170. Of course, the 170 is round this area, not, not right from the edge. And we're going from that edge because that's our final cut edge, so we're not evening anything out in the centre, we're just going right from that edge. Again, there's not a great deal to trim off at this end. Gaffer tape. So this is pretty much the left forearm complete. As you can see, we're lying through here. And here it's pretty even. And then again at the bottom. Remembering there's no return edge left on the bottom. There's a little return edge left around the outer forearm. There's no return edge left on the inner. Hit that music. <laughs> Two biceps, two forearms. It's looking something like this. Right, so we've got our arms now. We've not got cover strips on and we've not got the final trim on. We're gonna just finesse those a little when we get the cover strips on. And we'll go through that in another video. But for now, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click on that button, subscribe, turn on notifications, Follow us, tell your friends about us, enjoy your Stormtrooper armor build, and until next time, goodbye. There you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff or again, all on the website, just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.